this house right here has a lot of nice signs. It's a uh, North and Bursar, and we're stopping in. Uh, Peels here, they always have a lot of really nice high-end signs, traffic lights. You can see the Pegasus. One of my favorites. So great. Nice large Goodyear. Checking out the gas pumps, just incredible. Street light and <laughs> with a Goodyear 1500. The Tokheim double 2000. And the Pegasus, which just happens to be my favorite. 2200. Nice good your tire sign. 1250. Check out some of the Coke machines. Got some nice things there too. Got it. 2500 for that one. Woo. 9500 for that one. So, and another 2500 for the last one, which is a nice looking piece. You can back, you can back size some of those pumps. Also, has lots of tools. Oil cans, a couple hundred dollars, you can have yourself a nice little scales. And the coat button's 1250. And uh, the back wall. Just incredible uh, list of globes. Petroleana. You do about the whole show just on this one. Stop right here. 650. Always a sucker for a dinosaur. 550. Good looking pieces. I like the nice big chief from Pontiac. 2500. And he's even got the older version for these GTO guys and stuff. But yeah, look at those. Wow. Impressive, impressive. You get down the floor, you, know, you trip, you walk right past stuff. 575 from Quaker State. And this, incredible. The Firestone, gold phone. Not the chief. I really like the gargoyle over there. It's got the proper mount. Two thousand. Now this is kind of a little mix match. We got the coke base, and we got the Ford top. 800, not bad. Uh, cheap, cheap, but nothing in here is cheap. It's all real nice stuff. For those guys that uh, have lots of good stuff, this is a must stop because this is where you can really step your collection up. Here's Pier, 300. Honestly, I don't know for sure what these even are. But we'll take a look at the price. 75. We got it. We saw the phones earlier. Here's the phone booth with the phone. Some Coke dispensers. And uh, this one you thought that uh, 
We've also got them with a ceiling above us. I like the Sinclair. 225. Porcelain. We've got a lot more pumps in here. I'll get out of the direct light so you can see them. And then he's also got down below cabinets. You can see. And 25. Oil drum, 115. Likes the ice cream too, a pretty neat little collection of ice cream. We'll take a look at some of the prices. This is a Bella porcelain, 575 for Burton's. ice cream. 575. This one's a little nicer shape. 1600 pristine shape. Again, if we look back up on the ceiling, we have more big signs. Back by the doors, a big text go on. We got a big film 66. Incredible, incredible uh, stuff for sale here on the 127 sale between uh, Salina and Van Wert. Most of them are on my price range, so I probably won't take these home. I just come in here to drool. Still at my first stop, official stop on uh, Friday, and uh, it's a good one. Unfortunately, it's a uh, Incredibly good quality stuff, which is great, but uh, it's out of my price range. Big, big signs. $650 on that one. And it's hard to see laying out there, but it's a railroad crossing light. And we got some more Coke. And no shortages of traffic lights. When you're coming in on 127 auction house here, Tracy's, there's usually a little bit here too. It's a good place to stop and look. We're at the auction house on the south end of Van Wert and uh, gentleman has a lot of signs. He's got a 76 food mart. He's got an old Coke cooler. It's kind of a uh, partially there. A lot of nice signs out there. Some agriculture, highway, roadside. I'm curious about this uh, the cow one here. And 75 for the DeKalb. Let's walk back and see what he's got on his table. Four hundred for the Ford. I like the old Kendall, nineteen fifties enamel, five fifty. Got some nice trays too. I like checking these out. Good your ashtray. Five dollars. This a little uh, Kill Yarborough uh, valvoline car is pretty neat. Vintage go kart, hundred and fifty dollars, or best offer. I'm guessing that's a Regal. That is pretty neat. This gentleman's got a lot of nice uh, agricultural uh, items. 
And then Joshua got the old light. Fresh eggs, I like that. If you got a little farmstead, a little, I want to get to agricultural looking. Uh, he's got some nice looking jugs and crocs here too. Let's take a little look at that uh, four gallon one. 54. And I'm curious about this little uh, egg crate. I got a sister that might like this. Uh, so, Joan, what's the price on your uh, 75. 75 for to keep your eggs in? I like that. And sometimes uh, these are nice little decorations too for a uh, $40, $42. That's not bad at all. Oh, and the gentleman just said everything's half price, so that's actually uh, twenty-one dollars. So, good thing about one twenty-seven sale, you get some deals. These guys are working with us. Hey, you have a good day. I'm at the Van Wert County Fair now. I didn't show pulling in, uh, but uh, it's hard to miss the fair on one twenty-seven. This Van Wert County Fair is uh the largest stop there's probably a hundred vendors here 100 people's uh tents and such they're inside and outside uh plus uh one big plus about this uh sale uh here is that uh these guys can capture uh next weekend one week after the 127 sale is the lincoln highway garage sales and it also runs through van wert so if you set up at the Van Wert County Fairgrounds, you can get the 127 sale first week of August. Second week of August, you can get the Lincoln Highway garage sale, the second largest garage sale in the United States. In one town, you can get all the biggest garage sales in the United States, and it's Van Wert, Ohio. So check out some of these signs. I like the John Deere 479. Lots of lures in here. And a Coke, made like a Coke cake price case or something there. I don't know what you call that. But yeah, I'm gonna go back out and check out this Evan Rude side I saw when I was walking up. I got some boating buddies that love this thing. That has a nice sign. Porcelain, as you can see, 1500, 14.95. Uh, Van Wert Fair in Ohio and uh, I'm checking out the, this gentleman's got something a little different he's got a, a lot of video games on PlayStation PlayStation 2 uh, just a big selection of uh, newer uh, PS4 but he's also got vintage consoles and controls and he's got a lot of nice uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'm right vintage games uh, right at 30. That's why he's got, uh, we can see uh, yeah, I mean, some I've of his prices seen, here are uh, yeah. really I mean, fair and uh, so, just, I just games you don't see yeah. very often. If I, if I can't afford to buy it, and, and, uh, then yeah. I'm least tell people. So something, uh, something different hey, here yeah, at uh, I, I Van Wert uh, Fairgrounds. I actually, what I did is I used some of my really drink. nice. Uh, and then uh, back behind all these road signs, and you see through there. You can see they got some uh, banners inside there for racing. And what caught my eye are all these uh, Tonka toys. We've got a big selection of Tonka toys here. And uh, this one's pretty unique looking. And it's 135. I saw one of these earlier. I lent 165. Thunderbird Express, 195. Some neat stuff here. I'm seeing a lot more Tonka here. Lots of Tonka toys, but what catches my eye? Isn't the Tonka toys? It's 
not all the signs, and there are a lot of signs. Lots and lots of signs. That 50-20 right there caught my eyes with a trailer. So I gotta see how much that 50-20 is. I don't see a price on it, so I'm gonna have to go ask. But they got an old 520 from the 70s. A lot of radio flyers. And more signs. More John Deere pedal tractors. Pedal cars. Parking meters. And lots of tools. And like always old license plates. And even a place to tie up your horse. Looking through some of the items here at the Van Wert Fair, Van Wert County Fairgrounds. And uh, I'm seeing uh, old comics. And this guy's got a lot of them here. Uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, it's $25. And uh, $20. And we've got Batman. $10. And we've got a old uh, Archie, twenty dollars. Uh, Dick Tracy. So he's got a big selection of uh, comic books here, and uh, the comic books are pretty neat. Got some old books, old Forty Niners fan. That's a nice one for you. But uh, what he's got over here that I thought was most interesting. Uh, he's got a lot of hand tools is uh he's got these old military books these are pretty dang cool they're old scrapbooks people must have had during uh world war ii because there's lots of pictures from uh that's all aviation is this all scrapbooks from like world war one world war two world war one world war yeah world war one and i and thought Thank you. I was, that's what I was curious about. These are all uh, aviation books, mostly clips and stuff from World War I and World War II. Uh, so many scrapbooks. And uh, it's just really neat to see this. What are your prices on these books? I go $300 for all of them. $300? Amelia Earhart. $300 for all of these. And uh, I have some friends up at uh, Putin Bay that would love these. So, oh, look at that. And another thing besides these nice old scrapbooks is he's got this remote control boat over here. And uh, RC boat. That's pretty dang cool. We got uh, some nice uh, old vintage railroad stuff. I like the old chicken uh, uh, seed uh, sign. Let's look, see what we got price on it. Uh, there it is. 95. We'll check out some of these uh, vintage toys. I like the old road grader. 195 for the road grader. Just got some uh, really nice vintage toys here. Old crane. 75. Texaco tanker is nice too. Van Wert's got dozens of homes with garage sales that are just beautiful. You look at this old home, 
that they have with the garage sale going on. There are uh, a lot of these beautiful old homes in Van Wert with garage sales. It's nice just to stop and look at the homes. They have so many nice homes on 127. This gives you an idea of some of the nice stuff they have. A lot of nice items. How are you doing? doing well. Beautiful place. Oh, thank you. I'm doing a little video on uh, different places to stop at on 127 sale, and there's always a lot of beautiful homes oh. on 127 here in Van Wert. So, oh, cool. and uh, so I just thought I'd stop and uh, feature one of them.